Hey everyone! If you're enjoying the coverage of the Pro Play Tour Online series, just remember, you can play in one yourself. Every Thursday you can enter our free weekly 64-player tournament with invites to the entire Top Cut. Every Saturday is our weekend championship, where you can enter a YCS-type event with 100% payout and even a cash payout option. The more players, the bigger the prizes. Can't commit time to play in our one-day events? We also host multiple eight-man pods daily, ready to fire on demand on your own schedule. All these events award invites to our free invite-only players championship May 9th through 10th with prizes supplied by our sponsors. For more information, visit ppgeventmanagement.com and come play with the pros. What's up, guys? It's Jam1 from Jam1 CG coming at you guys with the finals, the epic finals of the PPG Players Only Invitational. We are here with two champions, Cody Angelov, the longest reigning national champion, and Cam, the former UDS champion of Dallas, and a former, sorry, former UDS champion and former PPG champion of Dallas. So this is juggernauts fighting it out. They're playing very similar deck lists. How do you guys think this is going to go down? Um, just the fact that we just saw Valor at Deathbot once or Deathbot three set two pass that is so huge. Like Cody has to have a response to the back row, but at the same time, Cam's back row needs to be like really relevant. And we see if had Taz made again. That might just be enough if Cam really needs to see a hand trap. Also, he got the needle fiber playoff. That's odd, but I guess we'll see how far it gets him. Eid. The shotgun, the phantasmate on the link rebo. No, that was the best place to do it, because he needed to make sure he got access to hand traps, just in case, so he knew how to properly play around it. We see the Nibiru dropped, so... D. That's... Uh, Nibiru, Smashy Smashy Rock, been quite effective in this version of the Eldritch combo deck. Yeah, but Cody still has access to three cards in his hand, so maybe that could potentially be enough, so we'll see. And yeah, Cody has normally been playing Rock the entire format, but uh, I think he got past this list by the real Christian Urena, not the fake one that's uh, Cam Neal, but <laughs> I mean, just was told to play this list. So I think this is Cody's first time actually playing the list in this tournament. So it's really interesting that he's still able to make it to the finals of the list. He hadn't like played that much beforehand. Indeed, but I mean, that shows his Nationals champion record here just able to pick up and adapt almost anything yeah that's what sets like these kinds of players apart from everyone else is just their knowledge base of this game is just crazy and we see an o-lion normal summon Oof. But it is also worth noting too that these two players have actually won like a decent amount of online tournaments recently cody was actually the first uh, weekend champion for PPG, and then Cam recently won the second LCS, so they're keeping it up, even when uh, we're only restricted to the internet play right now. Indeed. In everywhere. Good to see Cam starting to go off right now. We'll just see... How much more matters. He does decide to go to Link Cross play. He's met with an Ibiru. Looks like Cody DC'd. Oh no, that's, that's, that's very unfortunate. Your 
invite for the free Players Championship on May 9th and 10th, visit ppgeventmanagement.com to learn about the different qualifiers available. From one day events to play on your own schedule events, all events offer a buyback or cash option along with a 100% credit option redeemable towards any future pre-order at competitive prices. Grinding and getting paid to play Yu-Gi-Oh! has never been easier. Play with the most professional worldwide tournament series today and join the online community. Come join us on Discord for assistance, info, and even discussions about future events. As we are back, so unfortunately, Cody got a disconnect, and it happens with this online stuff. Again, it's not perfect, but that just is a game loss, so they're just going to go ahead and side, and we're going to go to game two of the finals. Yeah, and like with Cam having like such an advantage at that point anyways, it's... Um, it's iffy if Cody could have came back. I mean, he still had, like, five cards to have access to, but you never know at the same time. But the fact that Cam was getting to the point of comboing where he was, I don't know where it would have gotten us. But it looks like Cody gets to go first, so. Yeah, it's hard to say either way, but these players are both juggernauts, so it shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, plus, maybe with Cody going first, we'll be able to see... Uh, if Cody can go into the VFD, VFD play I've been talking about, because I saw him doing it before, so. Yeah, that's right, you did mention it. That'd be spicy. We haven't seen the deck make VFD on stream at all, so that'd be nice if you could do it off. Oh, but Ooh. we're just getting into Biru, so it doesn't look like we're doing it. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, but it looks like Cody's at least going to be able to see his Eldlick engine, so that's going to be a really good uh, way to stay in the game, at least. So forever off of it. Yeah, so that must mean he has access to Conquistador in his hand already, and then the Elden is going to get him a Golden Man Engrave, which means he'll be able to get a uh, Eldlixer, which will most likely just be a Scarlet. It comes to show that even after an Abiru, the deck can still kick into its second engine or... Well, I don't know, I suppose if you could count uh, the Eldritch as its main engine and uh, the supporting engine gets hit, you can still move into your main engine and still see yeah. the rest of the game out. I mean, Nibiru and he's still able to set four and the Golden Lord is quite scary. Indeed, yeah, it's almost really like... Good. Oh, I was going to say, that's why I really like this version of the deck, just because, like, compared to other combo decks, if they stop, they stop. At least with the Eldic deck, you have the Eldic engine to back it up, which is, like, insanely cool to see, like, a slow kind of trappish deck along with, like, some sort of combo like that. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say. It's kind of like, you know, they got stun in kill mode, and it's like, okay, that's fine. This didn't work. Are we going to go to plan B? It's similar to how, like, you know, Orcus back a couple formats used to do. It's just like, all right, you stop that part of it. Now, next combo. <laughs> Ooh, all right. And it looks like Cody immediately went Conquistador on the Nibiru, but then uh, Cam is going to drop the Quick Draw. So it looks like, and with the Despot and Grave, we're still going to be able to get the uh, Needle Fiber combo, but it depends on if Cody wants to uh, shotgun his forever right now or not. Or actually, he can't because it's chain blocked. YouTube chat asking who we are. Yeah, we didn't introduce ourselves this time. So I am Jam1TCG, YugiTuber, up and coming YugiTuber, and Frog Master, and I am joined with Lise Davis and Dale. Introduce you guys, selves. Oh, yeah, I'm Elise. Uh, I won a weekend championship a few weeks back. Uh, I was in this tournament, unfortunately, just didn't do as well as I like. All three of my uh, the people I lost to did make top eight, so at least I lost to the good players. Yeah, uh, I'm Dale. I run the Zephyr War Games channel, so you know, representing the UK side on the commentary for PVG. So it's been great to watch. Some of these absolute, like, insanely good players, Triff as well, uh, taking on uh, the top eight. And it's been great commentating alongside you guys as well. So, absolute pleasure. So for sure. And guys, if you guys love this content, support PBG. Sign up for some events. 
make sure you're subscribed to their youtube channel and their twitch stream just join in the community because again during this time it's really important that we keep the game alive by continuing to spread deck list and play and competitive play that's how we're going to keep the game alive to live after this yeah we see him going into the border blocker yep because he did uh use the gold land forever on the link cross so that means ooh, and he decided to huck head the jet synchron right now i don't know if the discard is off of the blocker or the jet so Either way, the black is just going to get Cam into a Conquistador, so it all depends on what his card in hand is, because otherwise he just doesn't really have access to much more. Oh, and there we go. I'm glad that we get to see a game three, even after Cody's disconnect. Still managed to pull it off, so this is going to be yeah, exciting. I mean, Here we go. Going first in this matchup, as much as I hate to say it, it is a little bit die roll dependent, like just from the matches I've been playing, but at the same time, like... If you open well enough still, even going second, you can easily mount a good comeback. It's just, again, you need the good mix of hand traps while also having, like, stuff for Eldic. But we get to see a tuning right away, so that's always a good sign. Starting it off. Deck. Ooh, Valor mill. That wasn't the best mill. It could have been a trap. That would have been better, but hey. So yeah, we'll I mean... It could always, like, come back if worst comes to worst, if he plays any reborn spells. I doubt it, but... You never know. Ooh, we get a Phantasmate Ooh, drop. We have a Phantasmate. I really like seeing cards like Phantasmate and Valor coming back into the meta a bit, because those are actually cards that have been, like, kind of not played as much, especially Valor, but now that, like, it's a tuner to facilitate your combos for Eldic, I think it's really nice to have. Indeed, but it was met with an Ash, so it's not going to get to come out. Right, but... Cam still is going to be able to at least do the soft combo, except for the fact that Cody has an Ash, so... So he said, you Ash me, I have one too. It's my big forehead girl, let's go. Would you say that Eldritch are, at this current moment in time, the most balanced deck? I mean, what I mean is, you've got Adam Ant's players, they go heavy, heavy combo and then start to control you. And they don't really play a huge amount of hand trap. Whereas Eldritch seem to have a nice balance between combo oriented monsters, hand trap cards, and then their control back row. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. Like that that's one reason I really like this list, because like last weekend. Oh uh, red pointy was, finger guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love this and it kept the Scarlet in hand because he was setting another Hakero anyway, so he gets to a point where away whatever is the most threatening card, and then uh Cam's gonna be able to slowly recur a board again. So we'll see what Cam decides to hit out. Sure, but now he'll see his entire hand, so he'll know exactly what position he's in right now. Ooh, he hit a Conquistador. Nice. That either means uh, what Cody has in hand isn't very good. Like, that's definitely what I suspect, because there's no other reason why you'd want to get rid of everything else, because that means he just won't be able to set the Conquistador now, so... Indeed, yeah. He just drew too much of his side deck. Maybe it's nothing impactful that matters. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get to see the hands. So we don't know exactly what happened, but formula comes down. An end phase elixir. Draw. I mean, we already know one of Cody's cards is Phantasme, which is a massive dead card right now for him. Uh, yeah, he drew his three Phantasme. And. Yeah, because Cam can just play around it now and play, like, with his Eldritch cards instead of trying to combo. He could even make just Synchro plays if he uh, drew enough. And the nice thing is, even leaving Formula uh, can be really devastating because he can uh, use the Eldixir to get any of his Golden Lands. And then during Cody's turn, he can use the Formula to go into a uh, Moonlight Rose with the Golden Lands, which I think is a really cool play with this deck. Mm. So we'll see how Cam decides to play it. I think playing around Phantasme, especially if Cam has more access to trap cards, I think slow rolling it is really good, but it looks like he might actually just be playing into the Phantasme. Interesting. I guess Cam thinks he'll be able to go off oh, on the oh, He yeah. has another Ash. That's what it is. Ow. Yeah, I mean, 
this cam obviously knows what the set card is we don't i'm gonna assume it's elixir but if it's not i think cam is just gonna get the win at this point and he probably knows that which is why he went off like that I mean, yeah, like you said, there's, there's nothing to fear right now. He, he's got the full knowledge of his opponent's entire hand. Yeah, uh, so... He's got the ability to just build off. That's what I was going to say, is that in general, because he knows the hand, we can't see it, but every play that he's making right now makes the most sense to him from what he saw. Yep, and Cam's just going to be on a standard combo right now, so... That might spell the end of Cody, or, like, he may not... Game him, but he's gonna gain enough advantage to where there's no way Cam will come back at this point. Actually, this should be game if Cody has nothing. Yeah, one set card is all he has, so. So I don't think Cam would go off like this if he knew uh, Cody had any hand traps. He would have played it a lot differently, but. I think it's safe to assume Cody doesn't have anything else. Also, he didn't have the Death Spot in Grave, but I guess he's just going to discard a Jet Synchron in order to bring that out instead. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't imagine the set card's going to be anything threatening or massively threatening. Um, um, there's, there's too much knowledge. I think Cam just won it just off of that Red Lotus. I think that that's so we normally made the, the death biggest spot. difference. Spot and brings out his other friend, Despot. Looking good, guys. And he was yeah, that spice I again. Synchron. I thought he was going to potentially go into a uh, Herald first, just get the extra draw, and then go into Excel. Or actually, he wouldn't be able to do that. So. <clears throat> At least we have a Savage on board, and then if Cam at least has one card to uh, send for Golden Lord, which we at least do off the Elixir, then it should be game. So Okay, we'll now he finally okay. revealed that card. That's... Oof. yeah. This... Yeah, I'll... Cam's got it, I think, at this point. As long as he has a way to clear the Hakero now. Sure, seems like it's pretty much over for Cody here. National champion, maybe he got some kind of spice that can still do this, even though he's seen his hand. I don't know. And I counted it out. I never say these games are over till I see those life points hit zero. Yeah, it. I don't know. It's a good skill to have to know when, like, you're not really in the game anymore. Just in general, for like scooping early to play through time. Like, obviously now time isn't a factor, but and it's exactly. in Cody's best interest to play this through as long as possible, but. Indeed. Yeah, I agree. It is a good skill to know when you just know it's over. Oh, and then the death spot boosts itself, so I think this is game. Yup, that is going to yeah, be and that and is it. Taking down the Players' Championship for the first season. Hey everyone.